What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Day B. You're watching Day B on TV, but we're going to be yelling at A-Day bullshit that people be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And right now, I want to talk about just a concept of looking at certain things, you know, um, when you're going about different things, right? Trying to make sense out of what's going on around you and trying to... Um, you know, just going about life in general, um, a lot of us get stuck on the what, but a lot of times you got to look at two different things. You got to look at the, like, why, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as other people's actions, like, you got to start being able to trace back things to why, aka what space could they possibly have been in to come to the conclusion to do what it is that they did rather than what it is that they did, right? Like, they may have cheated on you, but why? And it's not looking at the why to to justify why they did that and, and accept it, but it's more so to start to get a grip of the of the spaces people be in, but the psychology behind it. And 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 and, and that alone will help take the blame off of like because a lot of times we might have something done to us and look at ourselves as if, damn, now I'm the one who's fucked up. Or I let I let it to be like this. What did I do? To deserve this what did i do to let it go this far and all in a lot of ways right as spirits we create we manifest what it is that we're going through so in a lot of ways yeah you were doing something aka participating in a certain energy but before we get to that start to pinpoint the space of what kind of individual or where that where that individual had to be as a spirit in order to start to think that that was the right way to move or, you know what I'm saying, because it ain't even so much about the right way. They move like that, because that's another thing, too. I, I think I said in that other video, it's like, spirits be knowing what they doing. All of them. Even the unaware ones, even, it, like, you know, you ain't got to jump down their neck. You know who aware and who genuinely did some, something about mistakes, because we all make mistakes. But the thing about it is, even a mistake come from a true place. Even if that spirit doesn't isn't aware of why they may have made that mistake, a mistake come from a true place, aka a, 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 a glitch in the system. So when you're looking at different individuals, right, the people you keep around you especially, you want to make sure you're looking at to, like, their actions and the way they go about them, but also start to trace back why. What spaces could you have been in? Were, were they in an insecure space and that's why they chose to do that? Or were they coming from a space of anger and they, they don't really fuck with you? They just like to keep you around for X, Y, and Z. It's like start looking at people's ulterior motives or not ulterior motives because you're not always going to see that, that unless you've got a lot of that Scorpio energy, a lot of that fire energy and you can pierce through reality. A lot of that water energy so you can trace back uh, emotional pathways, aka being an empath and being able to... but. These spaces that people be in, it's like right now, especially, you know what I'm saying? And, and Aquarius is, is is the time for us to actually be in our association. So when you're in, a, you're in your associations, right, the 11th house is about friends, right? But there's different types of friendships. There's the friendships that y'all are into the same things. And so naturally that, that 11th house friendship can become something that goes into the third house or into the seventh house, aka you you around this individual because y'all into the same subjects, right? Y'all have similar fixated ideas. And even if y'all debate, it's still y'all still can st st occupy that space friendly. And then they take it to the third house. You get a little more familiar with them. Next thing you know, you might end up in a relationship, even if it ain't romantic. You just relate to them on a day to day, on a one on one. You get to relate to them. They, they familiar to you in the third house. But now you one on one relating and you getting to know them better. Right. But then there's other times where you be with an individual who's just an associate. They they seem like a friend because y'all in the same areas and spaces. Y'all may associate with the same type of individuals in the same thing. But then when they by the time, you know, what I'm saying they still unfamiliar to you, though, they true actions. And you got to remember that with everybody in your 11th house space, every associate you have, every friend you have at first. Right. Until you get more familiar with them. You got to get familiar with them first. A lot of people just be meet people and they be like, oh, they cool as shit. But you have no idea who they are once you familiar though and that's when things get funny because once you get familiar with an individual they start to they, they naturally be their true colors you know what i'm saying things start to get more personal fourth house and by the time they get to the seventh house if you haven't been paying attention by that time it's too late <laughs> you know what i'm saying that person is now somebody you're trying to relate to and they already they might already be in the eighth house so they, they might take that relationship as you know what i'm saying who knows who they are you know what I'm saying? Because once people get into that relationship, they get a little comfortable. They want to go behind closed doors. And so when things, by the time things get closed doors, though, they done already 
flip the script on you. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that you paying attention. And, and, and when it comes to your associates, it's like a lot of times you have to start picking up on what's going on. Like as far as like what they choose to do with their time, what they choose to do with their life. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be Inspector Gadget, but it's good to be aware of where people be at, where spirits be at, because you never really know. You know what I'm saying? When it really comes down to knowing what spaces an individual be at will help you know what to expect from them action wise emotionally anything you know what i'm saying because it's like you know where they be at so once you know where the spirit be at there is nothing more nothing less to really ask yourself about that individual it's like you, you know, I'm, I'm like, I, at the same time like i also like to say that you want to leave room for them to show you who you are you don't want to just think you know because that that's a mistake as well is just thinking you know somebody based upon what you feel as though they be into and it's not even so much about that but what it is is about just learning how to assess rather than judge you know what i'm saying judging is when you seeing something and based upon your experiences you you creating foreknowledge and you creating a conclusion and assuming and this that and the third and you you, you know what i'm saying like you judging something you know what I'm saying like the number four is really just just judgment because it's like looking at all four corners coming up to foreknowledge based upon what you experience. You know what I'm saying and, and based upon what you know and what you think you know, but that always leads to or not always, but it it can lead to uh, situations where you prejudge too early and now you've killed something that could have been something else. It didn't have to go the way you thought it was. It was just your mind that created the circumstance for that, and that's the fuck up. But when you don't learn how to assess, aka paying attention to something and being able to see and expand through the aspects of it, aka know where it came from, know what space it occupies in, in, in life, know what space it, it, it's at, and you're able to assess it for what it is, aka just see it for what it is, right? And you can still, like I said, I, I like to look at things of what it is, what it ain't, and what it could be. You know what I'm saying? You could keep what it ain't and what it could be right on your other shoulders and shit too, but you got to see it for what it is first still. Right. But once you see it for what it is and you assess it, you leave it there and you leave space for you to either be right or wrong. You don't know see you leave space for that individual to show you who they are, a.k.a. do something. But once they do it, boom, you already know, OK, that was the missing piece that let me know, OK, you might be in this space. This is how you move around it, with, though. OK, so by that point, you already know what's going on. You already know. And even if they start to like you could catch this early on where you could start to see early things that they do reflecting the space that they be at, that you already know what type of time they on. And it's like, OK, it's not even something I need to participate in or it's something I do want to participate in. And they actually somebody I could work with and we can, you know, what I'm saying or, or somebody I like, you know, I like I like I like where they be at and I want to join them, you know, so or I be in similar spaces and we can we can come up with some crazy shit together because that be the other side of it. It's not all negative. You want to pay attention to what people do also on the positive end because it's a lot of energies that we do like from other individuals and those should be acknowledged and we got to assess those too. Um, but just in general, knowing what spaces people be in and, and this is also good for you because Aquarius deals with organization as well and sometimes we have to organize our associations, aka there's certain people that you should bring in certain spaces with you. Uh, or you might it might help you to bring in certain spaces with you versus some people that you might not want to bring into other spaces. Right. So you need to know where people be at so that you know who to associate and when with, because sometimes it get tricky. You know what I'm saying? And it's not about being a fake individual or being two faced and being like, oh, I'm with this person. And I'm a ghost them and be. No, it's about just being a, a, a well-rounded spirit, being a spirit who who's expansive enough to have many different circles and many different individuals that they may communicate and exchange information with but at the same time you know where everybody at aka you know who your real friends at you know where the business associates at you know where the partnerships is at and you don't have to mix and mingle the wrong individuals into the wrong spaces in your life because that happens a lot of times where somebody might seem really cool in your fifth house space aka creating things but when you take them to the tenth house they show their ass and it's like damn i can't take you nowhere and be serious i can't i, I don't want to be known for you but i like creating things with you so you have to know how to like not categorize people because everybody's a spirit so they be in different spaces but you do have to know how to make sense out of different things going on in your circle so just keep that in mind